Oh look, it says class of 2020, RHS. Nice. So today, before I hit the schoolwork, Google Classroom, I'm making a run into town. Isn't that great? When I was a little boy growing up on the farm, we used to say that. I'm going into town. Do you need me to get anything while I'm in town? And now I'm doing it again. I'm going into town. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, I gotta go to Lowe's and I gotta go get my tax prep stuff. It's done. I gotta pay for my tax services. And I, and I have a massage and chiropractor appointment this morning. So, and then I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. My wife gave me a little list of things to pick up while I am in town. <laughs> then I'm gonna come home and grade papers all day, the rest of the day till midnight. No, because I have band rehearsal tonight. Oh, that's the exciting news. Thank you, President Trump and Gavin Newsom, our governor, for opening churches. My band is getting back together. Woohoo! Tonight we're rehearsing for the first time in like three months. Oh my goodness sakes. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so exciting. I love it. I love it. It's gonna be great. Maybe I'll capture some of that for my band director's log. All right, boys and girls. Um, had a really productive morning. I went by the tax service place, paid for my tax service, got my taxes. I gotta go home and pay them. I went by the bank and deposited some checks, got some cash out to pay some handyman bills coming up. I uh, went by Lowe's, got everything on the shopping list except for I wanted to put in a, a door handle on the garage because the one that's there, the lock is broken. You can't even put a key in it. And we accidentally locked ourselves. It's like actually locked it on the inside couldn't get in, had to go around, you know, that's, oh, what a, what a bother, what a bother, first world problems. And so I, I got uh, one of those lever kind, because, you know, if your hands are full, you know, if you're going in out of the garage, you have tools in your hands or whatever, you want to be able to bump it with your elbow to open the door, so I got a lever kind, and I tried to match, anyway, I went to Lowe's, Palmdale, went to Lowe's, Lancaster, they didn't have the right style, so you know what I did, I said, hmm, Amazon.com. And I found the exact model there for super cheap. And I happened to have a $10 Amazon gift card just waiting there to be used. So I bought a door handle for 71 cents. Now I'm early. I'm half an hour early at my chiropractor appointment. So I'm just going to sit here and watch a little YouTube video. Hey folks. Um, I just had my massage and visit with my chiropractor. That's like a miniature vacation. Um, it's great. And I've been in such pain and soreness from all the moving. It's been almost nonstop physicality since before the coronavirus pandemic lockdown quarantine because my wife and I were packing up our condo, preparing to move. Then we got the house going and we were moving. You know, once we got possession, we were moving, doing car, multiple car trips a day back and forth. And then the movers came on the 16th and then we had to clean out the condo and that's done. And, <clears throat> and now that we're in the house, it's like every day we're moving and setting and building and setting up this and moving this over here. And it's crazy is what it is. It's crazy. And now it's time for lunch, time for lunch. And then back to online teaching, so exciting. No matter how many times I have a barbacoa chip burrito, scratch that, cut. No matter how many times I have a barbacoa burrito from Chipotle, I always get surprised when I bite down to the bottom and I hit that juice pocket and it pours over my hand, onto my shirt, onto my pants, and I go, dang it! I need someone to help me remember 
when you get down to that juicy bottom where all the sauces have collected, get out a straw and drink out the sauce before you eat it. Chipotle. Love it. Just getting some water. Just a little bit of water. <laughs> because we drink water, we make tea and coffee with it, and we don't have a reliable, healthy source of water yet. So, eh, gotta get some water. So tonight we had our first rehearsal in, how long has it been? Eight weeks? How, how long has it been since we rehearsed? So it's like two and a half months, right? We heard March eighth. March eighth. And that was the last full circle. Oh, right. After that, we, we did twenty-seven people, and we did the uh, I got it. the live feed. Yeah. yeah. So um, we had rehearsal tonight for the first time in a long time, and it was so good, so good. <laughs> See, and, and nobody can be embarrassed there on the internet because y'all wearing masks. It wasn't me. I was never there. Seriously, tonight was so great. Emotionally, spiritually, to get the band back. Jesse couldn't make it. Our bass player couldn't make it because of his home situation. He has a daughter who's medically fragile, and so he has to be careful still during this pandemic. So he couldn't make it, but everybody else was there. Everybody, the, the whole band, except for our bass man. The sound team was there. The slide sisters were there. And there was a moment. Which was... It's just beautiful. Sorry. It was gorgeous. It was just a beautiful experience. Um, just to sing praises to God. To lift our voices, our instruments, our talents and skills. United to worship God. It was, it was. And having everybody back together. I wish you could have been here, Jesse. It was really special because I've missed this so much. It's what I do. It's what God called me to, and I miss it so much. Good night. Good night.